We are the Level Up Academy. If you are an aspiring coach or a new coach looking to overcome the fear of failure, crush your limiting beliefs, and get real results, then this is the place to be. Make sure you subscribe to our channel just down there because we're gonna be documenting our journey, talking about all the tips and tricks that got us to launching our profitable business and leaving our nine to fives and telling you how you can do the same. And today we are gonna be talking about what it's like to have two people working on a business together and whether you should consider getting one yourself. So if you like the idea of that, then stick around to the end because we've got some juicy stuff to share with you. And we're gonna be going through the pros and the cons. It's gonna get a little bit awkward. So pros, diversity of thought. Right, when you're a solopreneur and you're going at it alone, especially if you're just thinking about starting up, you have all of these different thoughts and you don't really know where to go and what to decide. You might just end up guessing, but if you're two people, you can buy, bounce ideas off of each other. You've got different backgrounds, so you think outside of the box and two people come together and two different heads make a bigger head in this case. And ultimately, it just means you're combining two different sets of experience. We've got completely different backgrounds. Link that together, we're definitely gonna come up with something that is completely different. We're gonna challenge each other's ideas. The next pro is multiple hats. Running yeah. a business is tough. It okay. is tough. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of content to pump out. There's a lot of messages to respond to, a lot of emails to write, a lot of systems to put in place. You can do just that much more. We've been at it for a year and a half, almost two years now, actually. A lot more stuff happens that you need to respond to. And having two people to be able to pick up the pace is, is ideal because, you know, you can just keep on top of everything and keep moving forward without losing pace. So next pro is accountability. How many of you, if you're thinking of starting or have just started, have thought, oh yeah, you know, I, I know I need to do this, but eh, maybe not today, but it just gets easier when there's two of us. Because if I feel like I don't want to do my part, I have to be like, hey, Phil, so, uh, you know, uh, we said I'm going to do this thing. Yeah, I didn't do it. I mean, he never asks me, but the point is, is keeping each other accountable and keeping each other kind of on point to bring the energy when the energy needs to come, to do the work that needs to be done, to, to stay up late. It's really useful and yeah. effective because holding yourself accountable is a challenge. And that's what we, we actually work with our clients on. There are ways you can hold yourself accountable. I mean, we will hold you accountable. Yeah, exactly. But having a partner makes it that much easier. Yeah, and I just wanted to say one other thing about the whole staying late thing. And sometimes you do have to do that. There are there were days when we went full time and we were gearing up to a launch a little while ago. If you're not following us on IG, then definitely go check that out. We'll leave the link. But we were documenting how some days we were literally starting work at like 8 a.m. or something and going all the way until midnight, if not later. And there were those days, but having each other made that so much easier to be accountable because you know the other person's going through the same thing. So let's move to the next one, and that is support. Ultimately, it's great to have someone who can just lift you up if you're feeling a bit crap, if you're just feeling a bit low, you've lost that motivation. There will be stuff that happens that make you feel uncomfortable, but it's really good to have someone else who understands exactly what you're going through. You know, we, we try to tell people then our clients to build a network, surround themselves with people who lift them, support them, encourage them, but one of the most important things about having a partner in this whole business world is that they know what you're going through. And there will be days that you will have meltdowns. And we have had those days. Multiple. And multiple. Multiple, multiple. multiple days. <laughs> I mean, I feel like what we're doing now is defining a friendship. And especially with the final pro is that it's more social. It's more fun. To, do, to build a business with a partner, right? Yes. 100%. And essentially, we, you know, I mean, we were mates before we started this business. Now we're no longer mates, we're, we're just business Yeah, now, <laughs> now we're just business partners. <laughs> it is so much more fun to run a business with a mate. It's so much better when you have the social element, the accountability, the support, the you know, the, someone to challenge your mindset, yeah. challenge your ideas. And the yeah. most important thing that we hear all the top people saying is that we've got to enjoy the process. Yes, a lot of people talk about how entrepreneurship can be a lonely journey. And in fact, some of the clients have said that they want to be an entrepreneur, they want to do something for themselves, but they're afraid that it's gonna be lonely, it's gonna isolate them from their friends, it's gonna change how they think and how they are. And that's also the reality that can happen sometimes. But if you have someone that's a partner you're going through with, then like Phil said, it gives you the social element and it also gives you that sort of connection where you're not lonely, right? You can chat about stuff. Right, so <laughs> number one on the cons of starting a business with a business partner, decisions take 
forever. You know, uh, my idea of the next best step might be different to your idea of the next best step. So there now we suddenly go. we're like, ah, shit. There we go. There <laughs> you know we what go. I mean? So, so decisions just take a lot longer. So things can sometimes move slower. It's the downside of that diversity of thought. And I mean, we do truly believe, which is why we're in a partnership, that the, the diversity of thought, the benefits of that outweigh the cons of the decisions taking longer. We want to make those right decisions. And also yeah. we want to enjoy the process. So the next con is... We got to make two times the money. We do, right? We got to do that. We got to hustle two times harder because we got to make two times the money because yep. we got to pay two times salaries straight away <laughs> off the bat. Especially since we had our last paycheck, yeah. And we were like, oh my god, okay, so uh, yeah. we don't have paycheck coming in anymore. We, uh, you know, the, the hustle becomes real, right? When we were doing it as a side hustle, if there were weeks where, you know, we had busy days or other stuff was going on, then we could just be like, it's okay. We can just come back to it. We'll pick it up. It's not a problem. If we didn't make any money for a month, it, it wouldn't really matter. But now it's crunch time, right? So we not only need to make money, but we need to make two times the money. Yeah. So that's definitely a con in terms of having a business partner that you just need to make double the moolah. Clearly. The next one is conflict. Yeah, man. Oh, it's okay. So one of the things is- Things you know, get heated. Business partnership is very similar to like a relationship. And the reason for that is, you know, you end up spending so much time, it, it's like together, that it's almost impossible that you're going to clash. Yeah. You, you have to, right? And especially when there's times where, I don't know, you didn't sleep well and both of you didn't sleep well or whatever, then emotions are high and stakes are high and the, the decisions you have to make or whatever can be crucial or critical to what, what you're doing. So, yeah, definitely there, there have been conflict, especially during the times we were like gearing up to a launch. <laughs> we, we deflated them pretty quickly, but they did sometimes need some quiet time. Right? Yeah, yeah, they needed exactly. some quiet time. But the good thing is the we were quite amicable with that kind of stuff. You know, we recognized when each of us got heated and we're like, all right, cool. You know, just like you would do in a relationship, you kind of be like, yo, sorry, it's okay. You know, let's move on. Let's try to understand what the problem was. And you know, one of the things we believe is that it takes two to have a problem, right? T two to have an argument rather. And Really, you both got to come to a consensus to say it's okay. Like, well, how do we move on from here? And that's really important as well. So I think we did that quite well. And that's yeah. why we, we can still function quite quite well. Like a well-oiled machine. The next, the next con, yeah. different ideas and the need to compromise sometimes. We both have, we both started this business for the same reason. Mm -hmm. We want to run this business for the same reason, but we can have slightly different ideas of where we want to take the business. And that's okay. That plays into the diversity of thought element. Yeah. But it does mean that sometimes we need to compromise to find the next best step that, we bo that we're both happy with. The challenge with two people is if you compromised and then you try something and it doesn't work, then you're like, oh, who was wrong? <laughs> yeah, who you don't wrong? know, right? You just don't <laughs> know. So you have to then go back to that. So that's something you're going to have to deal with if you're going to have to, if you're going to get a business partner. And you but basically have to agree to never point the finger. Exactly. Just like that, we'll move on to the next con, which is accountability. <laughs> <laughs> that, is pain, that is a pain in the butt. It is a pain in the butt. Right? <laughs> accountability. And this is a bit of a jokey, jokey con because sometimes you just want to put your feet up and, on, and watch your Netflix yeah. and watch your crappy series and, and do nothing and, and, and fall down that slippery slope that is limiting beliefs, feeling sorry for yourself, blaming the entire world rather than blaming yourself and yeah. taking action. But you know, and, and so it is hard, right? The accountability is hard sometimes to stomach. Our favorite saying in, this, in, in, in our business is the key to growth is just outside your comfort zone, which means that if you're trying to grow like we are, like you are, it's going to feel uncomfortable. Yeah. The thing that's quite funny, as we go through this journey, I am understanding that quote <laughs> more and more and more and more. And I, I think I'm still only scraping the tip of the iceberg. Even when we're working together, it's like you have to bring that best energy forward even if you're feeling shitty that day. Because, you know, we, we have weekly goals, we have daily goals that we want to meet. So yes, we have off days. Yes, we have down days. But, you know, keeping each other accountable still just means that if one person doesn't want to do it, well, tough. So guys, what we've done is we have gone through the pros of starting a business with a business partner and the cons. And we've tried to keep it level. Granted, we've probably spent a bit more time on the pros and the cons. Ultimately, what you've been waiting for is our recommendation of whether you should start a business with a business partner. And the answer is, it depends. Based on our pros and cons list, you have a look and you think about, can you do it solo? Should you do it solo? And do you want to have this pros and cons with someone else? And do you have someone else that you can trust, right? We've got another video coming up next week. So subscribe down there about our recommendations on what to look for in a business partner if you are going to have a partnership, okay? So subscribe down there. 
And if you haven't already, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss it when our next video comes out. And make sure you give us your thoughts in the comment section below because we're always really keen to grow, hear your feedback and make sure that our content is relevant for you. So until, until next time, time, see ya.